Okay, so it's uh, September 26th, uh, officially fall now, even though it doesn't feel like it. It's about 25 degrees Celsius out here. Um, and uh, me and Trek uh, had to have a boys' night, so I threw the boat in the back of the truck and threw some gear in here. And we're gonna head up north a little bit, check out the fall colors, and uh, we're gonna head in on a trail and make our way up into a little brook trout lake I know of, um, all crown land. We're going to head in on a snowmobile trail. Um, it's an OFSC trail, but in the uh, summertime and whatnot, you can basically do whatever you want. Good for four wheeling and all that. Um, it's crown land, so um, it's just a spot I know of and I've been to a couple times. So. Never really done any fishing on the lake though for brook trout, um, so we'll we'll be doing that, and uh, we'll be careful in here as it is hunting season, just for grouse and and whatnot, birds right now. So to be careful, and hopefully there's nobody at our spot, and uh, basically truck camping, uh, just me and the dog. So uh, yeah, let's get going because uh, I've got about an hour drive toward the trail and then it's a nice bumpy slow ride in and uh, we'll meet you there. Made it. We've picked a spot. And Trek, what do you think? Good spot? Bit of wood laying around, somebody's cut up. It's kind of handy. But yeah. Crown land camping. It's pretty fun finding these spots and coming in here. Last time I came down here was with uh, my old Mazda, basically a Ford Ranger, but it was two wheel drive, so lots of fun getting out of here. Not a bad fire pit. Of course, we got a grate. That's how you know it's a campsite, right? And people's garbage. Not too bad, actually. Seen worse. Look at them colors. Beautiful. Much needed. A little foamy from the right end. That's nice, real nice. Tangled again, bud. Trek, what are you doing? You listening? Four wheelers. What are you doing? Looking for grubs? Hey? Looking for bait? Since I forgot the worms? Hey? Is that what you're doing? Okay. Sit. Trek, sit. Wait. How to amuse a dog while camping.
Yeah, get some water, wash down those slivers. Come here. Try, come here. <laughs> choking on the bark? So he's a rescue, we have no information on him, besides we know he came from uh, Manitoulin Island. Uh, he was found at an ambulance base and he came down here to a rescue in Barrie. And we'd have no idea what breed he is. I think it's kind of obvious he has hound in him. All right, bud. You be careful. You dig up something you don't want to find. I haven't seen any bees, so I don't think he's going to find a bee's nest at least. Probably just chipmunks. He's crazy. He's got a lot of energy. Windy all of a sudden. On. On the maps. This little guy just realized I forgot the net at home. Wet my hands. Forgot my pliers too. Beautiful. Look at those colors. Caught him. But yeah. Beautiful. I mean, Trek? Yeah. It's a fish. He's good. Another one, same spot. A little bit bigger. Oh, too busy with the camera. Shoot. It's a little bit bigger. Huh. Guess I should aim the camera that way. Just have another one follow. Hit twice. So I caught that one brook trout and I lost 
two others. <laughs> and then I had probably three that chased and bit, and then probably another three that just chased. I was starving, didn't realize it was six o'clock, so came in, feed him. He's not eating, he's just chasing toads, harassing them. Leave the toad alone. It's none of your business. So yeah, I'm just gonna whip up my salad. It's the only thing I have that I don't need to cook, so I can get out there for the last hour or so. You stuck? You stuck? Sucks to stuck. No, nothing. All right, um, had some salad. Put the tent together. Put all my sleeping stuff in there. Uh, I was gonna cut some wood, but I'll have to do that when I get back. I don't have much time to fish, so. I'm gonna get in the boat and have a nice little evening here. Pour myself a wine spritzer. So I'm good to go. Trex chasing squirrels. All right, back in the boat. And I'm obviously just gonna head straight to where I was catching all those brook trout. Full speed ahead. So here's what I've been catching them on. Orange and red and black, feather tail, uh, size one. And they've been going after it pretty hard. And there is fish surfacing like everywhere in this bay right now. So I'm going to get to it. Holy, they're jumping like crazy in here or grabbing flies or something. I think I'm almost guaranteed to get one. Dude. Don't come back here, there's hooks, man. The last thing we need is to be driving out of here. Because you have a hook in you. Yeah, you? There's so many trout coming. Even got a bit of a moon tonight. No trout biting, though. All those little trout are still jumping, though. Just nothing. I wants to go for something this size. Pretty sure a little fly would clean them up. Here are the ducks. <laughs> See that? Some nice hardwood. Got lucky there. I think I'll cut one more, split what I have. Get a fire going. Gotta eat. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to split that.
Looks like she might go out on me. Check. You sulking? Hey? Do you miss your mom? Yeah, you do. Got that hardwood burning down into some nice coals. About to throw the uh, cast iron pan on there. Doesn't look like it, but he's ready for some steak too. boy Alright, those are seared up. Let's take them off the seat. Get the fan off the seat in there. And we'll put them over some indirect seat. To finish them off. Still a little raw. That might be done perfectly. I would say those should be done. Look delicious. Oh yeah. Turned out perfect. Perfect to me. A nice medium rare. I really like it. Get those onions soaking up that juice. You get a little more cooked pieces. Huh? Still win, but there's better. What, you're done with it? No. How's it going, Trek? You hear the owl? It's a loud one. I'm just gonna leave it. 
we go see if the other camera will pick it up. I'm gonna go set it up. You wait here. So peaceful out here. That's pretty sweet. An old cedar hollowed out basically. Just a flamethrower. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's popcorn time, so I grabbed some coals and stuff from the fire. I'm in the six stove. I want this one little piece burn down a bit, I guess. And we'll get to popping. Good and hot. Oh yeah. So then I've got my popcorn. All I do is uh, I put a layer of popcorn down on the bottom of the pot. And then I just uh, do another layer of avocado oil. And I do suggest avocado oil because it's got a higher smoke point than any other oil. And you should get organic popcorn. Uh, corn is one of the most modified things you can get. This is not organic popcorn. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I was in a pinch and stopped by my local grocery store and got whatever I could. So it's their name brand. So those, that popcorn's all nice and oily. I'm just going to toss her on there and uh, wait till I hear some action. Okay, we got a bit of action here. Give it a shake. You can hear that. That's what you want to hear, and then we'll hear some popping soon. And then we get to shaking. Shaking bake, baby. They're gonna start firing off any second.
Voila. Alcorn. And then remember how I said to keep her healthy? Yeah, not too healthy. Go get your salt. Ooh, maybe a little too much there. That's it. Can't beat that. Well, you don't like popcorn? Or are you too tired? You're getting popcorn thrown at you. You're not even gonna eat it? Come on. Two more pieces. Eat it. What's that? Food. There you go. Why are you acting like you've never had popcorn? <laughs> what a character. That was good. Still a few kernels left. Usually I pop them all. Off tonight. Maybe we'll start popping in there. Got a helicopter going by.